Jesus said, I am the way. And we just talked, there is no other way to know the Father or to get to heaven or be assured of eternal life than through Jesus. He also said, I am the truth. He's not lying about what he says. He wants you to know that if you come to him, you can be assured of life in his presence forever. But also the truth is that if you do not come to him, you cannot have assurance of heaven and eternal life with God. There's only one way, and that's through Jesus. And he says, he is not only the way, but the truth. Now, truth is solid, it is absolute. It can be completely relied upon. And it's the truth of who Jesus is that enables us to grow in him. When you came to Christ, we come, and the Bible says, we become like little babies. We are born again and that we need to grow in Him. Well, how is it that we grow? We grow as the truth of God's Word and the truth in our relationship with Jesus enables us to step by step walk with Him and go together with Him. This is my backyard and in my backyard we have a mango tree and we've got some new little mangoes that are just starting to come and we've got some mangoes that started a couple of months ago. We have little mangoes and big mangoes. I don't know what kind of Christian you are. Are you a brand new Christian like a little mango and you're wanting to grow? Or are you a big mango and you are needing to ripen and continue to grow? But we want to continue with fruitfulness in our lives so that we are everything the Lord Jesus longed for us to be. I get so discouraged when it gets windy and all the mangoes fall on the ground. I say, no, I want them to grow. I want them to mature. And that's the same way with some Christians. They come to Christ and they say a prayer uh, asking for forgiveness and wanting to be made new in Christ, but they never really grow. They just stay little mangoes. And the truth is that when you know Jesus, you will grow in Him. You will deepen in Him, in your walk with Him. Just like the flowers. We have flowers around and we plant them, but we long to see those flowers bloom and the glory and the splendor of what God created them to be. And that's true for each of our lives. The truth that we find in Jesus of his purity, the truth of what we find of his clarity in his word, of how he wants us to live, the truth of direction, so that step by step we can walk in what is right and good and lovely and excellent and say no to that which will corrupt and pervert and confuse and twist up our lives. Have you gotten distracted off of the way? Have you gotten distracted from the truth and get caught up in all the kinds of lies that Satan wants to do to seduce you and pull you one side or the other? That'll stunt your growth. And Jesus says, come back to me. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And when I think of the life, I think of, uh, of a waterfall. Now this, this waterfall, I made it. Um, in honor of my dad, because one of the first things my dad and I did was I learned as a little boy how to do masonry and we used to build swing pools and, and waterfalls. And so when my dad passed away, I wanted to do something where I could do something tangibly with my hands to say, Dad, I love you and this is in memory of you. But a waterfall without any water is it's no good. And, and so many of our lives are like waterless waterfalls. We know that, that the source of life is available for us in Jesus. We know that because he rose again from the grave. He conquered death and he sent his Holy Spirit who now can come and dwell in us and fill these waterless waterfalls like our lives with the gushing rivers of life that Jesus promised. Well, let's try. Let's turn it on because this waterfall, it has the source of water, but it also has the beauty that comes when water flows down and fills all of the parts of our lives. And the Lord Jesus in his life, he wants to fill up your home. He wants to fill up your mind. He wants to fill up your heart. He wants to fill up the dark places. And he wants to wash away the junk. And he wants to come and bring the holiness and the grace and the joy and the celebration that comes from knowing Jesus. My friend, you know Jesus. 
Let him come and fill your life. You were made in his image. You were made to know his life flowing in you and through you and overflowing into those around you. That his life would fill you and that through you, his life would touch other people. Today is the day to come to Jesus. Today is the day to say, yes, Lord, I want to live forever in the mansion that you've made for me in, in my father's house. Yes, Jesus, I, I trust in you as the only way to know the Father. I want to come and I want your truth to come and push aside the lies in my life that I've been following and to know and to grow deeper and deeper in you every day. And Jesus, let that life, that abundant life that's so beautiful, come and fill us up today. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, right now, we come. Some of us, Lord, have, have said yes to you in the past. Some of us, Lord, have never, ever responded to you. But Lord, we come today and we say yes to you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, come and wash away my sin. Jesus, you died on the cross and you paid the price for my sin. You took my place. Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you for dying in my place on the cross Thank you that all my sin is forgiven. And Jesus, I turn right now away from my old life. I turn from what I want. I turn from my life of lies and sin. And I turn to you, the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus, fill me now with your life. Come and take residence in my home because someday I will be living in your home in heaven. And teach me right now what it means to follow you. Teach me the way every day when I wake up in the morning. Teach me your truth every time I open your word and I seek your face in prayer. And Lord, fill me with the life and the power of your Holy Spirit to be used by you to touch all those around me. Lord Jesus, we love you and we praise you. In your name we pray, amen. If you've said that prayer, tell someone today. Begin by sharing the life and the truth of Jesus and that waterfall will turn on in your heart and in your, in your family. And I, I pray that if you are someone that said yes to Jesus, but you're just a withered up old mango that needs to be ripened up I pray that you will turn your life back to Jesus and say, Jesus, I'm so sorry. I haven't been walking with you. Jesus, whatever time I have, whatever days that are ahead, I want to live them to the full for you. And, and Lord, I pray that each one here, your blessing, your power, your aloha, the celebration of Easter would be theirs because Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. God bless you. to face kneel at the throne of grace for grace